get ridiculous now. It is 27 minutes past four in the morning. I'm loaded up, waiting to go and see Mr. Austin. Hopefully go and watch the sunset at rise even. Oh, I can't even think, it's too early. It's too early. The trouble is, the wind's good till about seven-ish and then it starts to build up. So, we've got to get up nice and early, up by five and get an hour in. Oh mate, it's foggy. Oh, I've got a horrible feeling this might all have been a big fat waste of time. I'll take everything back. Matt's here. There's no mist. It's kind of perfect. You know what, I was just driving through that thinking, oh here we go again, missed. <laughs> Look at that. Welcome back to the Parahomes. That glorious sun rise over there. Been starting to pick up a little bit. We're trying to get up before. Oh that was Here he goes. Beautiful. Liking that a lot. Yeah, boy. I don't think you need any more than Waspy, mate. She's beautiful. Yeah, mate. Just heading for takeoff now. get to the uh, little spot. We did uh, guidelines and all that sort of stuff. There's a lot of it abandoned, you see. But when you're doing that sort of training, you just need corridors with rooms. Complicated layout is what you need. That's what guidelines are for. It's basically like a string that you tie off to doors and things like that, and uh, anything you can find, really, so that somebody could be clipped onto that string, work their way around the building, in theory, they could never get lost because they're attached to this string which leads them out. In practice, one of the last jobs that I'm aware of, somebody did actually die. They, they misread the lines. There's uh, like directions on them. Um, you're, you're supposed to fill the line and there's like uh, little tallies that hang off it, like little tassels. And one of them's got a knot in and the other one hasn't. So get knotted, get out. You follow that one to get out. 
<laughs> and the ones that got legs you follow to go in um, so that's the principle behind it but basically uh, a crew got split up got a bit lost got split up and ended up dying inside the job so they're not everybody's favorite thing guidelines and it's very important if you're going to use them you've got to train on them So anyway, that's uh, Bachelor's Factory. For those who go to the cinema, just dead ahead. Oh, 16 mile an hour ground speed. We're motoring now. Gotta keep an eye on that clock as well. I wanna be down by half six. It's going to be a Scorchio day. Definitely going to need to get yourself a little nap today, I think. Just kind of... Uh, crabbing around all this civilization malarkey. somewhere that you could launch from. Sorry, where you could land in in an emergency. Uh, you always feel like you're very close to them clouds up there. They're a long way up. All I know is right underneath me it's bumpy. I'm starting to fill in bumps now. The thing I'm sort of gaining as time goes on is up is bumpy and down is bumpy. So where is Matt? I'm gonna have a little turn. Where are you, Matt? <laughs> Going right. A little bit bumpy over this, uh, oh, what do you call it? Plantery. Chatting away to the GoPro, it's been nice. Yeah, it's about 10 to 6, so to be honest, mate, another 20 minutes and I think we're at back. the outside of it because uh, there's no landing options in there mate it's all trees <laughs> mate my ground speed has been about 11 mile an hour
go left, I'll end up in Faversham. See. There we go. It's just right. Speed. Speed. I am speed. <laughs> well, that was a short and sweet flight. Landed nicely though, really pleased with that. Really pleased that I seem to have, uh... now I've got it, I've got the landings. And I'll tell you the secret, the secret is to make sure you undo your shoulder straps, that way you can lean forward so that when you come into land, you've got a chance of running. That, that was Trim's out landing, um, which for me is just unheard of, absolutely unheard of, but it just went beautiful. So I came in real fast, right at the last second, flared, went up, pop, and then popped back down again. It was absolutely cracking. So yeah, really pleased with that flight. It was short, sweet. We wanted to get down before the sun came up. Uh, well, before the sun got too high. Uh, and already it was starting to get quite firmly. So I think we've uh, absolutely made the right call there. Um, we were battling quite a strong headwind anyway. So we couldn't really get out of the area, which I wasn't too happy with Holton. Flying over someone's house is one thing, but loitering about like that not ideal so there we go i mean short sweet hopefully we haven't pissed anybody off um, and we're all safe and sound so yeah nice <laughs>